Hello everyone, it's Animation 4, welcome back to some more FTB Continuum today. We're going to space a bunch of times. Um, so last episode we kind of, there's kind of a change of pace. Where I started going more mass production. We have a bunch of crafting recipes done. And I just made a bunch of stuff. Good, good progress there. We're going to continue that. So, uh, I think a big thing we're missing right now is satellite data. We have... I think one satellite up in the sky uh, right now. I position. Um, we can pull the data down, I, I guess. Yep, look, we got some data. Um, put them all in. Get a bunch of data that way. I, I think that's how it works. Uh, I want more telescopes. So, I'm going to send another one up. I was actually planning on making like a stack of, of I said telescopes. We're making more satellites. I was planning on making like a stack of them, but I don't think that's reasonable. You can see the data right there if I connect. Yeah, I, I only have three data. It, it Maybe it is worth it to make a bunch of them. I have the stuff. But here's another satellite. This one is a composition scanner. Uh, I'm going to throw it in the bay. Um, I think I could build it like this. i got to build the thing. And then send it on a mission to Earth. And launch the satellite ID number one up into space. Right here, ID one. Um, and it's computer. Do I have a Earth chip? Is it a chip? No, um, the, the planet ID chip. Yeah, I gotta make another one. I don't remember how to do this. It's been too long. What does this one have? This one has something. The if how I here? Guidance computer has a planet ID chip named Earth. Actually, I think it's like right here, isn't it? No, select destination. Yeah, okay. I think that's it. I think that was the step I was missing. And do not. Select destination. Uh, we're flying to Earth. Select. Uh, fucking guidance computer, planet Earth. Go. Do the thing. How do I make launch? Don't remember. Doesn't have any fuel that help. That's right here. Thinker. Okay, it's getting its fuel. I don't know how to make it launch. I don't remember. If I'm in it, I know how to make it launch. You sit in it and then you, you press space. But I don't know how to launch it from here. It's been too long since I've done rockets. I think this is it. Okay, so this is linked with the rocket. You can see from here. Feels good. It's just a thing. Oh. I don't die. So there it goes. Hopefully it comes back. I think I sent it to the right place. It should go up. It should release the satellite into space. And it should come back down. Uh, so you can see in the meantime, this is collecting data. And yes, it has 3K worth of data storage. And that's why I was able to fill up three of these. This new satellite also has 3K. It also has three solar panels. So there's no, um, no issues there. It shouldn't be able to fill up all the way. Oh, it's back. Welcome back. Uh, and if we look inside satellite bay, there's no more satellite. It's up in space. Oh, jeez. There's a big old cloud of smoke. If I make... I actually have another satellite terminal here. Plug it in. This. I already got 3K worth of data, apparently. Uh, three connect... Right, so it has to do it one at a time. 
a bit annoying. Got to be a better way to do this. So I have 6k worth of data. Yeah. This has got to be a better way to do this. This is annoying. I can only pull a thousand at a time. And I, like looking ahead, the reason I'm doing this is looking ahead. Um, oh, you only need at least a hundred of each data in the warp controller. Oh, okay. I thought it was like thousands of data. It's only a hundred. But you need to send out one more satellite. We got to build one more here. Shouldn't be too hard. Go. Solar panels, give me three of these. And then, uh, what is the other sensor called? I think I need the mass detector. Go. Three solar panels. Good. Go to the satellite builder. This goes here. Here. Satellite chip. There and solar panels and data storage. Build that thing. ID two. Toss it in here. My plan was to make this thing tricked out like eight satellite bays launching satellites constantly and just no, really only need three. Oh shoot, don't launch. Don't launch. Abort. It's not fueled. It does have fuel. Not linked. This says, oh, this is fuel. Do the thing. Because. There's a screenshot. Then one more satellite terminal. Uh, these things. Really? I thought I made a bunch of these. I guess I just used them. He's back. There. There. Link it up. Look, it's already got 3k worth of storage. Nice. That's not that bad. I should get the, the method down. There we go. We got 3k worth of all the storage types. And very slowly, they are getting more data. Oh, but that's what we needed. So the next thing we got to do is a warp drive. We got data pouring in from our satellites. Look at that data pour. Seven eighteen. Yeah, it's real slow. Uh, so we're gonna tr get up there now. So over here we have the uh, space station assembler, and let's build a space station. I have this huge box to work with, and it's, I guess it gets compressed down to like manageable size, like a block. Where is it all? So I'm going to. Build away here, doing a little, my best attempt at a circle, but it's uh, basically just an octagon. It's, it's, it's almost a circle. Gonna have some windows, gonna have space to build stuff. And this is where we have to put the warp core. We cannot just put it on a spaceship, unfortunately. We'll get a warp core going on the space station once it's up in space. We use that ship to launch in space, and I also made another launch pad because you can never have enough launch pads. This would be my shuttle, just a little tiny ship to mainly get to the space station, probably. Whereas I'd use this ship for a bigger expeditions, and be building a circle here. Pretty exciting stuff. I think it's done. Da, 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 boom. Here's the space station thingy. Round. I had a little drop down thing here. Just 
got a little bit of extra space. I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I don't know quite how it works in terms of getting to it. Because what we got to do now is we have to um, do the scan. And it's going to take like 10 minutes because it's uh, kind of the max size uh, X and Y wise. It's, it's the biggest base I can use. It's going to take a while to scan it. Ends up in a block on a ship, and then, like, does my ship land on it? Does it need a flat space for it to land at? That's why I have the roof flat. Or does it just, like, chill next to it or something, and I have to navigate my way in? Does it expect me to have a jetpack? I don't know. I don't know the answers to these questions. Let's see what happens. If I, like, jump off, can I just land on Earth? Who knows? Ready. Build. Red line. Just as long. Man. Man. Oof, it's gone. Oof, it's gone. Uh, yeah, here's the space station container. ID chip. I'm actually gonna copy the ID chip as it recommends. Neat. Okay, so we have a backup chip. Post that in here. Now, I so I think I can launch it like a satellite. Okay, so if I just sit in here, I don't want to rebuild the ship. I don't want to rebuild any of these ships. Oh, no, no. I have a satellite base. Base station container in. I'm going to fill up my jetpack because it's getting a little empty. Uh, put in the space station ID chip. Nation station one. Good. Five. Rough. Let's see what happens. Deploys the space station and on it doesn't look like a space station it's kind of like a plane over there oh that looks like earth down there oh check it out we're in space That was easy. Um, okay, we have a base station. I think at this point I can build out however I want. Now that it's up here, I can just add more to it. I don't have to be worried of my oxygen levels. Oh, geez, this jetpack is uh, kind of tough. Hover mode is pretty needed here. But there we go. We landed on a space station. And I don't know what to do. I think now we build it with um, a warp core. Okay. Is that? Then we need the warp controller. And look at this recipe at all. The plates, the user interface. Cool. Rest four of these. Done. Boom, warp controller. Next quest. This quest. Okay. And the game's kind of like, you don't need rewards at this point. You don't need rewards anymore. This is all just guiding stuff. Right, let's get up there and see how this works. I probably want some... Right, I need some uh, lithium crystals. Four. 
me make some more of these. We need these to power it. I got the data. I have the blocks to build it. I don't know if it needs power power, but we'll figure out. I think I got everything. Find out real quick. Just take off. Tiny poop. Do tiny pipe. All right. Got to build a warp core. I don't know how to build a warp core. I know it's odd. The three by three. There's not really much online about it. Okay. Um, I did find a picture of it pre-constructed. See if I can replicate that and if it works. The guidebook doesn't tell you, it just tells you the blocks you need. Something like this. Nah, this is here. Can't see what's in the middle, but we need gold blocks, so I'm guessing they go there, there. Around this, you get a little plus of machine frames. Top, you have an input hatch, then more blocks of titanium. That uses up all the blocks required. Is this, that's the warp controller, oops. I want the warp controller, I want the warp. Or, where's the warp? Thought I forgot it. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. If you're wondering how to build it, how to build it. You can only access it through this. But just, you can't access it at all. It just kind of sits here. It does its thing. That's very cool. Um, I believe this takes power. But I did bring some power cells. Um, kind of up them down here. Do I have any... I don't have any cables. That's... Fun. Nowhere to go. Data. Get our data chips. Here. I really lost them for a second. Boom. Buffer, chip, the wrong one, type distance, type mass, type composition, mass, mass, composition, that way. Okay, I just had them in the wrong spots. Boop. Okay. Mass. Be nice if there's a more efficient way to do this, but I do. We got some data. Search for a planet. Uh, yeah, that's, we're going to search for a planet. So we need some planet ID chips. Drop one in here. Artifacts. I have no artifacts. Oh, it's, it's going. It's doing stuff. Is that good? Is this random or is this just like a progress bar? I can't tell. 50 50 chance let's go i have 40 tries at this but still 50 50 unprogrammed cool use 100 data um i don't know what these artifacts are Does it say anything about the artifacts uh you can set up a unprogrammed planet chip will come up be programmed with planet you've discovered Story. Did that even use any power? I don't think that used any power. So I can move this, but I don't want to take the data out of it. So I don't think it discovered a planet. Try again. 
Oh. So I think it was actually working. I've done it uh, four times now, and nothing's changed in here. But if we go up here, we now have a lot more stuff. Here, like, we got Jupiter, Pluto, Neptune, Saturn, Mars, Earth, Venus, Uranus. Uh, yeah, if we go back up, there's like six planets, seven planets, seven planets here. Don't see any planets out here. Planet list, yeah, there's nothing here. I think none of those are discovered. Planet of fluids, oh, universe. It says there's six planets, we haven't discovered any of those. This one, planet list, no. Here we have a huge planet list, well, relatively huge planet list. Um, go to Neptune. We have relative distance units, Earth's mass, atmospheric pressure. Uh, Venus. Oh, one. Go to Pluto. Go to Neptune. Let's go to Jupiter. Jupiter sounds like fun. Or Mars. Have I been to Mars yet? 64. How do I put in fuel? Don't know how to put in fuel anywhere. That's probably the, you know what? That's probably the the hole in the top is for fuel. Uh, that input bus, very inconvenient spot, but yeah, there it is right here. That's where I put in my dithium fuel. Have bit. It's a stack just to warp to Mars, dang. What about something further away? Oh, I have a thousand fuel, apparently. It's not, it's not one to one. So, something further away, it's, let's say, still in Seoul. They were going to Neptune. Uh, Pluto's further. Ooh, 90. Okay, we're going to go to Mars, though. Mars sounds like fun. Go to Mars or one of the two moons. Planet. Uh, warp. We're warping. This is actually real cool. Way. I'm gonna take to get there. Oh, we're here. Look at that. Okay. I don't know what this bar is supposed to be. That's the progress. Uh, but I think we'll have to search for more planets since different... Um, we'll have to search for more planets in different galaxies. I think we have to actually go to the galaxies to try it. Uh, so we're going to take off. Actually, I'm kind of worried about fuel here. Uh, we're going to take off land on Mars. Hopefully, just fine. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hopefully I know what I'm doing. And I can get back to the, the station... I'm not going to run out of fuel entirely. Should have bought like a big tank of fuel. Or had some way of making fuel on the ship. Just water mostly. Water makes fuel. In the right coming. Alright, let's, let's go to Mars. Eventually. Boom, 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 boom. Eventually, we'll start actually descending. You're doing the thing where it's woke me back up to the top. I don't know why it does that. Just too far. Whoa. There's trees on Mars. Gotta be like, a pretty regular. A ship. Nice landing. Eight 
Interesting. Oh, you know where you can go for some hardened clay? There's also trees. That's me a little confused. Like regular old oak just regular old oak trees on Mars. Is life. Big old craters. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Looking for anything. Anything new and exciting. I think this is not new and exciting. Eucalyptus wood is not new and exciting. I think there's anything out here? Cave. Go in a cave. This is not a cave. Just a divot. Got here, just tin. Is there like some special ore here or something? Old. Harvest Mars for all of its hardened clay, because I do run out of hardened clay pretty frequently. I don't know what I'm looking for. It's big, empty, is a cave. Coal, iron, baby zombie villagers. I think there's actually anything like unique here. I think it's just regular stuff. I don't think we're going to find anything special until we actually leave uh, the galaxy, go to a different one. I think we can. But we know how the system works, we know how to do stuff. We've made it to Mars. Warped here, got some rotten flesh, for what that's worth. Let's go back to the station. Fuel is actually still pretty good on this uh, little sh shuttle ship. Still pretty full. Head back up, and we're going to try warping somewhere else, maybe. Bye, Mars!